how to master particles in Blender. So this first video here in this uh, particle series is a complete beginner's guide to particles in Blender. I'm gonna cover everything you need to know to get going on your particle journey. So at the end of this video, we're gonna create a particle system like this. And before we get going, I'm just gonna hype up my second video because then we're going to create this entire artwork here. And we also going to bring in this particle system and do all kinds of crazy stuff so um, let's just take one moment to enjoy this artwork before we get going we have a person here or something that looks like a person floating in a sea of particles and uh, yeah if you can um, please subscribe if you don't that is also okay and let's go okay so how to master particles in blender so we're just gonna jump straight into it here so i'm just gonna select everything in my scene and exit all away then we're gonna go shift a and mesh and plane and scale up this plane here and now we want to transform this plane here into a particle creator or particle emitter if you want uh, just before we do that, I'm just going to tell you that you can use any kind of object to be the particle creator. However, the plane works um, very often the best, so we're just going to go with that. So click on the plane and then go over to the right and click on particle properties and click on this little plus icon here. So now if I hit spacebar, we're going to have some falling objects coming down here from the blender sky so these objects are not real objects these are hollow so they so you will not be able to render this out so the first thing that i want to show you is how you can bring in um, any kind of object to this um, particle creator here and um, make this particle creator create whatever object uh, you want so we're just gonna go shift a mesh and i'm just gonna go with a cylinder so i'm not picking the cube and that is because i'm starting to get a little bit tired of the cube so we're gonna go with a cylinder and uh, click on the plane and now we are going into the particle settings here and just scroll down a little bit and open up this render tab and here we want to change this uh, render as from halo until object so from halo to object and we're going to use the eyedropper tool to select um, this object here or the object that you used and now if I hit the spacebar, we have some cylinders coming down from the sky. So what we can do here as well is uh, increase the scale. So just drag this to right or left and you will decrease and increase the scale like that. And the thing that I always like to do is set this scale randomness all the way to one. So that will create a more interesting kind of look when you have different kinds of scales. So um, that is the first thing that I want to show you. The second thing is that we need to have some control over the particle flow or the direction. So we want to be able to determine where this particle are going, if they're going up, down, left or right. 
so if I were to follow my gut feeling here uh, it would just be to rotate this plane around uh, 180 degrees like that and now I would expect these um, cylinders or particles to start flowing upwards but of course blender never follows my gut feeling so um, what we need to do instead is to get some control over the gravity so we can use this side um, thing here and just move that all the way down and we're going to open up the field weights so open up this field weights and at the top here you will see gravity and just drag this gravity all the way down to zero so now if i hit spacebar these particles are still going down but as you can see they are moving in with way less speed so if you just reset the particle system and click on a plane and rotate this plane around 180 degrees like that we now have particles going up so that is fantastic and just to show you you can also make them go to the side like this as well so um, the next thing here is that all these particles are disappearing at this mysterious line here so um, we need to increase the lifetime of these particles so if we go all the way up and into this emission section and here we can see that the lifetime is set to 50 so that is the default and uh, now these particles will just be alive for 50 frames so let's increase that let's set it to 1000 and when we do that we also need to change our timeline as well so we need to change this from 250 to 1000 frames and now we will have particles existing for 1000 frames so that is uh, dope uh, the next thing here is that we don't necessarily want this thing going on here so now we have sort of like a a bunch of cylinders inside a cube uh, so what we want is to have this particle creator just continuously creating new particles in a nice and steady flow and to do this uh, we need to change this end here so now this end is set to 200 and that means that uh, this particle creator will stop creating new particles when the timeline reaches 200 frames so just to show you if we set this to one every particle will be created at frame one if we set it to 1000 uh, the particle creator will use 1000 frames to create 1000 particles so the next thing here is to yeah you have the number so you can set this number to pretty much whatever you want just to show you you can go ridiculously high like that or ridiculously low like that so just one single particle and the seed is obviously just the style of these particles here and then you have the lifetime randomness I rarely use this function but yeah obviously if you want to you can set this to one and the, the particles um, will differ in how long they exist so the first thing really need to have a good idea of is how to use this section here and also knowing about field weights and the gravity.
So let's uh, move this uh, tutorial one step closer to the art artwork you saw in the video. So we're just gonna delete this object and we're gonna bring in a uh, icosphere. So I'm gonna go Shift A, Mesh and Ico. And before we do anything with this, we're just gonna go down to this little window, click on that and set the subdivision to one. <clears throat> so now I'm just gonna move it on the X like that. And now we want to make a bunch of different icos with different colors and put them all into one collection and make this particle creator and throw them out in a nice and cool way. So we're just gonna create a really easy uh, material here. So click on the ICO, click on new, uh, material and new and change this uh, principle BSDF to an emission. We're just gonna pick a color. I'm just gonna go with blue. You can just pick the color that you want and we're gonna set the strength to 10. And now we just want to duplicate this ICO move it on the X and we need to remember to click on this new material as well because we want multiple different colors so do that and then go color and just pick a color and we're gonna do the exact same uh, procedure again so go uh, duplicate new material and just change the color and duplicate new material and change the color I think that is fine and uh, now we're going to put all of these icons here into one collection and the way to do that is just box select all of them and go M and new collection so I'm just going to write in this name here just just write some random stuff in here the name doesn't matter and click ok and we can also bring in a camera as well so i'm going to go shift a and camera and i'm going to set the rotation here to zero i'm just going to move it on the y and uh, i can move it this direction here and just rotate it towards the plane go into camera view by clicking zero and we want to scale up this plane a bit to maybe something like this and we can also change the world settings so go to render properties we're going to use eevee and if you want a render with better quality we can increase this render number and also the viewport and we're going to uh, turn on ambient and bloom and screen open up the screen and turn on this refraction and then we're going to go into wall properties and change the color from gray and drag this down to black so now if we go into render mode we don't see anything because we haven't uh, um, we haven't picked our collection yet so click on the plane, go into the particle properties, scroll down to this render section here. And now we're gonna change the object uh, from object and into a collection. And also we want to open up this box. You can use this silly name here. And now if I hit spacebar, yeah, we just had one one tiny friend here going up so we need to increase the number here as well so i'm going to set this to 1500 and i also can move these bigger icos a little bit over and if i go into camera view here we're going to have this effect here so um, now we're getting somewhere so what i like to do when 
playing around with these uh, particles is to, is to use a scale that is quite small because I found out that that looks better so maybe something like that um, and you can also go into uh, this render properties here and experiment a little bit with this threshold if you want some more if you want less bloom but I also found that you don't want to go too far and um, the default is pretty good so so now we have these particles going up like this um, and we can also uh, we need to also gain some control over the speed here of these particles so just bringing all of these back in and if we go into let me see okay yeah so go to the particle um, emitter and open up this physics uh, tab and go down to integration and here at this time step we can control the speed so if we set this time step to a really low amount the particles will move slower if we bring it up they will move faster so just to show you if you bring it like that they will have way more speed so uh, the last thing I want to share with you at this part one is that particle system to get this to work really good you need to first off have some patience and sort of like go in and fine tune a lot of these parameters and experiment a little bit yourself so hopefully I'll see you in the next part when we're going a bit deeper into the particle system world and um, I'll see you around so subscribe if you want to and uh, have a great day